You know, we, we fall many times in our life, but we don't lay there, we get up. So as long as you're getting up after a fall, your life is gonna be wonderful, and don't be afraid to try anything. Growing up in the bush or my father's trap line, and I'm very proud to say I'm a trapper's daughter. Having seven sisters, five brothers, it's the life I knew. And to step out of that environment and onto the world stage was tremendous. The first time I met Sharon Shirley was in a garage in Finland. And I see these two young athletes, very pretty, but very quiet. We totally, totally supported each other because of the cultural differences with the rest of Canada and Europe. We were a team within the team, so Shirley was my backbone and I was her backbone. Shirley and Sharon, they communicate it's one behind the other without looking even. It's just crazy how they could change rhythms and they can do things and it just happened. It's like ballet dancing. Prior to the 1980 Olympics, my mother died in a house fire, along with uh, two nieces. Of course, everything went, fell apart for them a bit. And then they started talking about what would mom have wished for them to do? Because if they had gone home, they would not have qualified for the Olympics. They would have lost their spots. It was a very difficult decision, and we decided to stay because my mother wanted us to fulfill our dreams. Everybody was following what the twins were doing because it made people dream. I just felt like they were my heroes when I was a kid because we had one of our own, not one of our own, we had two of our own succeed. It was um, diagnosed that, that Shirley had uh, cancer. When my wife was sick, she said, oh, it's so hard for me. I always promote to stay healthy and don't smoke and stuff like that and I'm sick. Now people say, oh, it doesn't matter uh, to stay healthy. I really regret that. That was a hard thing for her. There were such great examples. They rose above it all. They let their actions speak for themselves. I think it just really speaks loud of Shirley and I how we persevered under every condition possible. I think we really set the pace and pioneered the sport of cross-country skiing, not only for Canadians, but also for First Nations people. Shirley told me many times it was the most happiest time of her life. Basically, playing outside with my one and only twin sister was the thrill of my life. <laughs>